Hello students. As we all know, estrogen is a steroidal sex hormone essential for the development and maintenance of female reproductive system and secondary sexual characteristics in women. In today's video, we will study pharmacology of anti-estrogens. Now, anti-estrogens are the agents that block production of estrogen or prevent utilization of estro estrogen or inhibit pharmacological actions of estrogens. Now talking about the classification, anti-estrogens are classified as estrogen antagonist, selective estrogen receptor modulators, then selective estrogen receptor down regulators and aromatase inhibitors. Now first category of anti-estrogens are estrogen antagonist for example clomiphene citrate now it blocks estrogen receptors so physiological actions of estrogen are blocked and this is perceived as the deficiency of estrogen by body and thus anterior pituitary is stimulated that causes excessive release and thus excessive rise in the levels of follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. Now increase in follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone induce ovulation and thus clomiphene citrate is used in the treatment of infertility. Now second category of anti-estrogens are selective estrogen receptor modulators for example tamoxifen citrate and raloxifen. These drugs selectively modulate estrogen receptors and thus they exert agonistic action in some tissues and antagonistic action on other tissues. Now, tamoxifen exerts antagonistic action in the breast tissue. So it is used in the treatment of breast cancer. While raloxifen exerts partial agonistic effect on the bone tissue, and thus it is used as a second line drug in the prevention and treatment of osteoporosis. Now third category of drugs are selective estrogen receptor down, down regulators or for example fulvestrant. It causes degradation of estrogen receptors and it is used in the treatment of estrogen receptor positive breast cancer in postmenopausal women resistant to tamoxifen. Fourth category of drugs are the aromatase inhibitors and these drugs inhibit conversion of androgens to estrogen. For example, latrozole, then anastrozole, then x amistane and these drugs are used in the management of breast cancer. So now let's discuss pharmacology of each category of anti-estrogens one by one. Uh, now let's uh, discuss pharmacology of uh, estrogen antagonist that is a clomiphene citrate. Now look at this diagram. This diagram depicts uh, pituitary ovarian axis. Now anterior pituitary produces gonadotropins namely follicle stimulating hormone that is FSH and luteinizing hormone that is LH. Now FSH and LH stimulate ovaries to produce estrogen. Now increased levels of estrogen send negative feedback signals to the pituitary. Uh, this is a negative feedback signal that is shown here in the red color and this inhibits uh, so because of the inhibition of the anterior pituitary it inhibits the release of FSH and LH thereby inhibiting the release of estrogen from the ovaries. Now clomiphene citrate is an estrogen antagonist. It blocks estrogen receptors alpha as well as estrogen receptor beta thereby preventing physiological actions of estrogen in the body and this is perceived as a deficiency of estrogen by the body. Thus even in the presence of high levels of estrogen body stops sending negative feedback signals to anterior pituitary. So clomiphene citrate blocks estrogenic feedback inhibition of pituitary. So the anterior pituitary since it is not getting the negative feedback signals this anterior pituitary it continuously keeps producing follicle stimulating hormone as well as LH 
and thus this continued secretion of FSH and LH increase uh, the levels of FSH and LH in the blood, ovaries they enlarge and this causes induction of ovulation. So ovulation occurs in the presence of clomiphene citrate. And since clomiphene citrate induces ovulation, it is used in the treatment of infertility in women and men and it also aids in in vitro fertilization. Now adverse effects of clomiphene citrate, now continuous stimulation of ovaries can produce polycystic ovaries and multiple pregnancy and other adverse effects are hot flushes, gastric upset, vertigo, allergic dermatitis and increased risk of ovarian cancer. Now uh, let's talk about the second category of anti-estrogens namely selective estrogen receptor modulators. For example, tamoxifen citrate and roloxifen. Now very important to re remember that selective estrogen receptor modulators exert agonistic action in some tissues and antagonistic action in other tissues. Now let's first talk about uh, tamoxifen citrate. Now tamoxifen exerts antagonistic effect on breath, breast tissue and blood vessels. Thereby it induces inhibition of human breast cancer cells and hot flushes. Now uh, partial agonistic action of uh, tamoxifen is seen in the absence of estrogen. So partial agonistic action is seen in postmenopausal women. And since it exhibits partial agonistic action in postmenopausal women on the uterus, it causes endometrial proliferation similar to uh, estrogen. Uh, bones, it causes improvement of uh, bone density. And uh, uh, apart from this, uh, since estrogen causes increase in the coagulation of blood, uh, tamoxifen citrate also increases risk of, risk of deep vein thrombosis. Now, since uh, tamoxifen exerts uh, antagonistic effect on breast tissue, it is used in the treatment of breast carcinoma in pre- and post-menopausal women. However, some breast tissue cells develop resistance to tamoxifen. Side effects include hot flushes, thrombosis and risk of endometrial cancer. Uh, now let's uh, talk about the second selective estrogen receptor modulator namely raloxifen. Now raloxifen exhibits estrogen receptor antagonistic effect in endometrium and breast and uh, apart from this it also exert estrogen receptor partial agonistic effect in bone and cardiovascular system. Now as we all know that uh, estrogen increases bone density, it, uh, estrogen increases bone strength and uh, since raloxifen is a estrogen receptor partial agonist in postmenopausal women, it is used as a second line drug in the prevention and treatment of osteoporosis in postmenopausal women. However, uh, bisphosphonates are more effective in preventing fractures. Now adverse effects of uh, raloxifen are hot flushes, increased risk of deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism. Now a uh, next category of uh, anti-estrogens are selective estrogen receptor down, re down re uh, regulators. Now example is a fulvesterant. Now it enhances degradation of estrogen receptors which results in down regulation of estrogen receptors. Now fulvesterant exhibits high affinity for estrogen receptors. So it binds to the estrogen receptors and prevent their dimerization. And this further prevents binding of estrogen receptors with the DNA. And this causes enhanced degradation of estrogen receptors. Thus, fulvesterant induces down regulation of estrogen receptors and exhibit anti-estrogenic action. Now, use of fulvesterant, it is used in the treatment of metastatic estrogen receptor positive breast cancer in postmenopausal women resistant to tamoxifen. Side effects include pain and redness at the site of injection, hot flushes, nausea, vomiting, 
headache etc uh, now let's uh, talk about the fourth category of uh, anti astrogens uh, namely aromatase inhibitors for example letrozole and astrozole then examastin now these drugs inhibit aromatase enzyme thereby preventing conversion of androgen to estrogen now as we all know estrogen plays a very important role in the development of breast cancer these drugs are used in the management of breast cancer now let's first uh, let's discuss the pharmacology of letrozole letrozole is an orally active non steroidal compound it reversibly inhibits aromatization within the breast cancer cells that is letrozole uh, prevents synthesis of estrogen uh, in the breast cancer cells now this leads to nearly total estrogen deprivation of breast cancer cells and in fact it inhibits production of estrogen in all body tissues now uses of uh, letrozole very important uh, it should not be used in premenopausal women now it is used in the treatment of early breast cancer now uh, letrozole is a first line drug uh, for adjuvant therapy after mastectomy in estrogen receptor positive post menopausal women now mastectomy refers to the surgical removal of breast tissue now it is also used as a first line therapy in advanced breast cancer now letrozole produces better response and therefore it is used as a first line therapy now it can also be used as a second line uh, treatment after uh, tamoxifen that is when tamoxifen has failed it can be used as a second line treatment of uh, breast cancer advanced breast, breast cancer now adverse effects of uh, letrozole are hot flushes uh, then nausea decreased bone mineral density so this is in brief on pharmacology of uh, anti estrogens and uh, please note that the information provided in this video is meant only for students from their examination point of view and for clinical use of anti estrogen uh, kindly consult a physician if you find the video useful kindly like subscribe and share this video thanks for watching this video